Well, Greenpeace activist Priya Pillai joining us now, as does GVL Narasimha Rao from the BJP tonight. The court has said the government failed to substantiate their claim that you, Priya, were a threat to India's sovereignty. Do you feel vindicated tonight? Uh, yeah, thanks, Ankita. I think this is a big victory for not just the people of this country, but also all the people movement of this country who have a different dream of development who have a voice and have been expressing that voice of dissent bravely today the courts have upheld the right of a citizen of this country to have a dissenting opinion which is which is which is really great and today we have we can reaffirm our faith uh, in, in in the constitution as well as in the courts and judiciary of this country GVL Narasimha Rao, the court saying the right to dissent is not anti-national. Citizens can have differing views on development policies. Is this a, isn't, isn't this just a huge, huge rebuke for the government stand in this case? Absolutely no. I think uh, what the court had said that everyone has a right to dissent is a given. There is nothing really, uh, 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 the, the media, the kind of freedom that everyone enjoys in this country, no, no country in the world can possibly parallel. The key issues why the government had to uh, raise these concerns are whether you can have paid views, whether you can have, if the media, I, I, would, like you to, I would like to draw a parallel with the media. Why is the foreign direct investment not allowed in the media? Why is it capped at 26 percent? Can you answer that question? Can but, Ankita, but can you sir, answer that sir, question? Because you don't want foreign, sir, foreign sir, lobbies, quickly, foreign companies influencing. No, these are related. Let's not move away from the issue at hand. No, no, the this court is, this today. Is, no, let no. me finish, sir. The court has quashed the lookout circular issued against Priya Pillai. It's asked for the word offloaded to be expunged from her passport. It's also said a secret database maintained against her by the Intelligence Bureau is violative of her privacy. It has also gone on to say, why must the state uh, interfere with an individual's freedom as long as he or she operates within the law. What is it that Priya Pillai did that was against the law? Because the court no, clearly I, I hasn't found question, anything tonight. No, no, I, I think let me raise the, the fundamental question. The moot question here is can we have foreign uh, funding of the NGOs to have, you see, the views that are being expressed by the NGOs, many of them are influenced by their donors. If you cannot have paid media, if you cannot have foreign direct investment, 100% investment in media, you also cannot have foreign NGOs being funded by foreign principals okay, I'm having their own that. agenda. That is the real question. Okay, so I'm obviously, going to take that back to Priya Pillai because actually the court has uh, had something to say o on that issue also about the fact that uh, you know her, her, her tickets were b bought by Greenpeace or whatever. But Priya, if you'd like to respond to the point that the uh, uh, BJP representative is making here tonight. Uh, yes, yes. Thanks, Ankita. Uh, I'd like to tell Mr. I, I'd like to remind Mr. Narasimha Rao that uh, Greenpeace India is an Indian entity. It's not a foreign entity. Seventy-four percent of our funds are raised from India. We have an Indian board. We have 90, more than ninety-five percent of our employees are Indian. And whatever little foreign money is coming into Greenpeace India is coming under the Foreign Currency Regulation Act. The government is well within its limit to regulate the foreign money that is coming into this country. We are not forwarding any interests of for any, you know, any foreign agenda here. What is the government trying to do here? Uh, trying to protect interests of a corporate that is registered in the UK and then trying to say that this is national interest. Who defines national interest? How can you say that protect the economic interest of a foreign registered corporate is the interest of this country. No, I beg to disagree. The interest of this country definitely is the interest of the tribal communities here, the other marginalized communities here, their right to have their resources, their right to voice their opinions, their right to have a take on development, their right to have a voice of dissent in this country. Okay, the court saying, JVL Narasimha Rao, let me come to you, that Ms. Pillai has a fundamental right to express her opinion on crucial economic policies of the government that may differ from the dominant opinion 
and will include the right to propagate an alternative opinion. That is all that she has sought to do. She was speaking to British parliamentarians about a British uh, company's activities on uh, Indian soil. How is this anti-national? Uh, I think I, I, I think you're missing the larger issue. And the, larger, the larger issue, issue? is, no, no, I, I, I'm talking about it. The larger issue is, there is absolutely, I think every Indian has a right to express their opinion. There can be no two opinions on this. Every Indian can have an independent opinion of development. Nobody needs to agree with this, uh, with the view of the government. And I don't, we, this government doesn't have to really reiterate that uh, 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 right everyone enjoys. That's, that's a given. But the world, throughout the world, more than 20 countries in the last two years have restricted foreign donations and have actually called all NGOs working with foreign money as uh, foreign agents. That is the kind of a concern that exists throughout the world. I have no problem. They can express whatever opinions. Possibly if it, if it requires some kind of uh, changes in legislation, I think government may have to consider that. I, I don't think uh, it is on the agenda of the government, but certainly the concern of the government is that foreign money is being used to stall India's okay, economic growth but, and the focus is on Narasimha certain economic Rao, sectors. Priya has just addressed your uh, concerns on that, saying 74% of uh, Greenpeace's fundings are raised right here on Indian, sto in, uh, on Indian soil. But uh, the government also went on to argue that her statement could be included in foreign policy documents that want to subdue uh, India's quote-unquote strength on global platforms. Now, how did the government come to these conclusions? No, this is based on there is international evidence to support this. This is how a lot of in, in a number of emerging economies, uh, a lot of advanced countries have been actually funding this kind of opinion so that uh, they, they can put brakes on their development progress. This is what has a large number of documents that have been put out by various countries. Independent, so-called independent reports put out by parliaments of many countries have actually reported NGOs' opinions, many of them having some kind of uh, relationship with uh, NGOs in their own countries or receiving foreign funding from them. This is a very large issue. The pirate victory that they have achieved today, I think everyone has a right to, but then this only raises larger questions. And those questions will still need to be addressed. That is this ethical to raise questions, of, uh, to raise questions on development with foreign funding? And with some kind of uh, foreign principles, I will still maintain which are, that Priya Pillai has already answered that argument. But Priya, if you want to want to uh, respond to that once more, I'm, I'm not talking yeah, about yeah. one individual. Yeah, I'm I, not talking about. Yeah, I'm raising a whole, larger. I'm not talking about one individual. So don't. Yes, I'm, I'm not really. Not, I'm also not talking about myself. What I am, I I believe I'm representing all the all the civil society here. I am representing the lots of people's movements and fights, on ground fights. I would actually urge uh, Mr. Narsimha Rao to go to Singroli and we are talking about development here. Just like the government has a dream or an understanding of development, the activists of this country, the people and community of this country also have an understanding of development. We don't, uh, you know, proscribe to your idea of development. My idea of de development does not um, give me the right to displace people. To, to violate the environment, to, uh, you know, take away livelihoods of communities and, uh, you know, uh, to, and to violate them and their rights. So the whole idea of development itself, you know, there, there are different perspectives of development. You may say that it is development. Come to Singroli and see whether that's development. There are 11 mines and 9 thermal power plants in, in Singroli and Singroli is not a picture of development. And I know that there are many groups in this country who are fighting to save the resources of this country from corporate loot. And I want to remind uh, Mr. Narsimha Rao that, you know, you're talking about the government's vision. You know, the government today is operating on bans, you know. The government will decide what we should eat. The government will decide what we should see. The government will decide what we should talk. You know, the government will decide what our opinion should be. Is this a democratic way of taking forward a country?